this is one of those examples where bigger is better. Godzilla himself is actually 350 foot, so you need a massive screen to, to do it justice. Watching it just now on the IMAX screen, it was definitely the, the biggest he's ever felt. None of us have ever faced a situation quite like this one before. You don't think about these things when you're making the film, because obviously you're looking through a little viewfinder, everything's all very small. And suddenly you look at stuff and go, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. There's so much to look at. Even just like normal shots have this kind of captivating quality about them. You watch it on your monitor when you're filming and you go, oh, this is cool. And then you watch it projected and you go, oh, this is cool. And then you go watch it in IMAX and you're like, okay. Okay, you gotta stop with all this now because I don't know how you're gonna better this one. I want the audience to feel connection to Godzilla, whether a good or a bad one. You want to kind of feel like there's a soul in there. What you're hoping to do when you sit there in the audience is you kind of get hypnotized and entranced and you enter a dream. That's what films are, really. Dreams you've never had. Can you kill it? When I was 16, I remember just thinking, one day I'm going to make a film in that format. The great thing about today is that the, the format's just grown. I actually never thought I'd achieve the ability to say, like, you can see a film that I've done in IMAX. Pretty incredible. It is going to send us back to the Stone Age! Such an encapsulating, immersive way to watch a movie.